Evolution of Life 1. Origin of Life The Earth was formed about 5 billion years ago. At that time it was extremely hot. The existence of life in any form at that high temperature was not possible. As such, two questions arise pertaining to life. A. How did life originate on Earth? Origin of life means the appearance of simplest primordial life from non-living matter. B. How did primitive organisms evolve into new forms resulting in the evolution of a variety of organisms on Earth? Evolution of life means the gradual formation of complex organisms from simpler ones. 1.1 Chemosynthetic Theory of Origin of Life Several theories have been put forth to explain the origin of life. The widely accepted theory is the chemosynthetic theory of origin of life, proposed by A. I. Oparin. Other theories such as the theory of spontaneous generation are of historical importance. Only chemosynthetic theory Life might have originated at first on Earth through a series of combinations of chemical substances in the distant past and it all happened in water. Z. The Earth originated about 5 billion years ago. Z. It was initially made up of hot gases and vapors of various chemicals. Z. Gradually it cooled down and a solid crust was formed. Z. The early atmosphere contained ammonia, NH3, water vapor, H2O, hydrogen, H2, methane, CH4. At that time there was no free oxygen. This sort of atmosphere, with methane, ammonia, and hydrogen, is still found on Jupiter and Saturn. The heavy rains fell on the hot surface of Earth, and over a very very long period, the water bodies appeared that still contained hot water. Z methane and ammonia from the atmosphere dissolved in the water of the seas. Z in this water, chemical reactions occurred and gave rise to amino acids, nitrogenous bases, sugars and fatty acids which further reacted and combined to give rise to biomolecules of life such as proteins and nucleic acids. Probable stages in the origin of life. First stage. The sources of energy were the ultraviolet rays or electric discharge, lightning, or heat. Either alone or a combination of these energy sources caused reactions that produced complex organic compounds, including amino acids, from a mixture of ammonia, NH3, methane, CH4, water, H2O, and hydrogen, H2. The amino acids are the building blocks of proteins which are the main components of protoplasm. Stanley Miller and Harold C. Urey in 1953 set up an experiment with an airtight apparatus in which four gases, NH4, CH4, H2, and H2O, were subjected to an electric discharge for one week. On analyzing the liquid, they found a variety of organic substances in it, such as amino acids, urea, acetic acid, and lactic acid. Second stage. Simple organic molecules combined to form large molecules which included peptides, leading to the formation of proteins, sugars, starch and fat molecules. Third stage. The large molecules of different kinds combined together to form multimolecular heaps or complexes. Some simple fat molecules arranged themselves around this molecular complex in a sort of membrane. It was observed in the laboratory. Experiments that when such complexes reached a certain size they separated from the surrounding solution in the form of what were termed coacervate drops of microscopic size, moving in the liquid with a definite boundary, coacervate means. Keep referring to the combining together of the molecules. Coacervate-like aggregates were probably the precursors of the first living cells. Now, some sort of metabolism could occur within these coacervates with synthesis 
of certain substances and breakdown of others. The latter, i.e. breakdown reactions, could provide energy. Some of the earliest formed proteins might have acted like enzymes and would have affected the rates of reactions. It is also believed that RNA molecules might have shown enzymatic activity in the primordial soup of chemical compounds. Such molecules have been termed ribozymes. Fourth stage. Some sort of nucleoproteins or nucleate acids may have evolved by random combinations which have provided two more properties to coacervit, like bodies. These include I, chemical reactions from the nucleate acids, and 2. The capacity to reproduce through duplication of the nucleate acids. Thus, cells were produced that could be called the simplest primordial life. Depicts the probable stages of origin and evolution of living beings. The primitive drop, like forms of life were all heterotrophs, unable to manufacture their own food but derived it from environment. One of the innumerable changes in genetic makeup of the primitive heterotrophs led to the formation of chlorophyll, green coloring matter of the leaves. Molecules The chlorophyll, bearing units of life for the first time started using solar energy for production of food as well as for the first time started liberating free oxygen into the atmosphere. Early atmosphere of Earth had no free oxygen. The forms until then could, at best, be only anaerobic chlorophyll, bearing organisms later released free oxygen, which gave greater possibilities for life to evolve. Thus, the simplest form of life originated through four main stages. Thereafter, eight wide variety of organisms came into existence through biological evolution. 1.2 Organic Evolution what is evolution? The formation of complex organisms through gradual change from simple ancestral types over the course of geological time is termed evolution or organic evolution. According to the theory of organic evolution, Z, the various present-day organisms were not created in the same form in which they exist today, but have gradually evolved from much simple ancestral forms. From a common ancestor. Z. The characteristics of organisms had been changing in the past, they are changing. Even today, and will continue to do so in the future as well. This is due to the fact that the environment in which organisms live also changes and organisms need to adapt to the changed environment in order to survive. Z. Several living organisms of the past have become extinct. Z. The origin of the various forms, species, found on Earth has been a gradual and extremely slow process, requiring hundreds or even thousands of years. However, the evolution of black peppered moth or polyploid varieties of some crops or pesticide resistant mosquitoes happened in much shorter periods of time. This process of slow and gradual change is called organic evolution. The theory of organic evolution states that all living things on Earth are here as a result of descent, with modifications from a common ancestor. 1.2.2 Evidences of Organic Evolution The evidences supporting organic evolution are derived from a number of fields of biology. Those discussed here are 1. Morphological evidences 2. Embryological evidences 3. Polyontological evidences 4. Molecular evidences 1. Evidences from morphology Though organisms of different species and groups are quite different from each other, they still retain certain common features. Morphological evidences for Evolution are derived from I. Homologous and analogous organs 2. Vestigial organs 3. Connecting links The comparative study of various organs in different groups of vertebrates exhibit common features which show that they evolved from a common ancestor. 
Pig for. Example, the heart of the vertebrates. 2. Homologous organs. Homologous organs are the organs which are similar in structure and origin but may look very different and perform different functions. Four limbs of vertebrates are a good example of homologous organs. They are built on the same fundamental plan yet they appear different and perform different functions. In each case the forelimb consists of humerus, radius, and ulna, carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. This basic similarity in the structure of the apparently different forelimbs of different kinds of vertebrates is due to the fact that all these limbs have evolved from a common type called the pentadactyl, five-fingered limb. The homologous organs, therefore, prove that different kinds of organisms came into existence through evolution. Analogous organs The structures which are functionally similar but structurally different are called analogous organs. The wing of an insect and that of a bird or bat or pterodactyl are examples of analogous organs. The function of the wing is the same for flying, but the insect wing has no structural resemblance with that of the vertebrates. A. Wing of insect. B. Wing of bird. 3. Vestigial organs. Vestigial organ is any small degenerate or imperfectly developed, non-functional organ or part which may have been complete and functional in some ancestor. Examples are Body hair in male Wisdom tooth Appendix Tail vertebrae The only rational explanation for the presence of these non-functional organs is that they have been inherited from ancestors in which they were functional. Shows some of the vestigial structures in the human body. 4. Connecting links The animals or plants which possess characters of two different groups of organisms are known as connecting links. The connecting links establish continuity in the series of organisms by proving that one group has evolved from the other. A good example is that of a fossil bird. Archaeopteryx, which was a connecting link between reptiles and birds. This bird had a beak with teeth and a long tail, with bones, like the lizards. It had feathers on the wings and on the body like the birds. 2. Evidences from embryology. Embryology is the study of development of an organism. The aspects of embryology which support the doctrine of organic evolution are Z. Similar stages of early development, morula, blastula, or gastrula, in all the animals. Z. The embryos of all vertebrates are similar in shape and structure in their early stages. This resemblance is so close that it is difficult to tell them apart. Z. All the vertebrates start their life from a single cell, the zygote. Z. All of them during their life history pass through two layered blastula and three layered gastrula stage and then through fish-like stage with gill slits. All the different aspects of embryology strongly support the fact that the different classes of vertebrates had common ancestors. 3. Evidences from Paleontology Paleontology is the study of fossils. Fossils are the remains or traces of animal and plant life of the past, found embedded in rock either as petrified hard parts or as molds, casts or tracks. The fossils of the earliest era in the geological time scale were those of bacteria, then invertebrates and then successively of fishes, amphibians, reptiles, and lastly of birds and mammals and among mammals primitive fossils of humans are the most recent. An extinct bird, Archaeopteryx. The discovered fossils of the horse, elephant, camels, and humans provide their ancestral history. The number of toes decreased for greater speed, size, 
gradually increased and teeth adapted to eat grass. Fossil record of bone of hind legs of horses from Eohippus to Equus showing. Decrease in the number of toes. Equus. Mary Hippus Mesohippus Eophagus. 4. Molecular evidence of evolution. The all organisms have cell as the basic unit of life. The cell is made of biomolecules. Common to all organisms. The ribosomes, the cellular organelles are of universal occurrence in organisms. The DNA is the hereditary material of all organisms, except for some viruses. The ADP is the molecule which stores and releases energy for biological processes. The the same 22 amino acids form the constituents of proteins of almost all organisms. Z the, the genetic code is universal, exceptions are very few. Z the, the central dogma which deals with the transfer of genetic information in cells is the same. Z the, the basic steps of transcription and translation for protein synthesis are similar in all organisms. Z the, the sequence of nucleotides such as that for the promoter gene, Tata box, is common to all organisms. However, Organisms sharing same chemical characteristics show closer evolutionary relationships. For example, I, human blood proteins are most similar to those of the chimpanzee among all apes, or, too, only plants and some algae have chlorophyll. So they are more closely related. Similarity in chemical constituents between Organisms is termed molecular homology or biochemical homology and are used in recent times to establish evolutionary relationships and form the basis of systematics. 1.3 Mechanism of Evolution Various theories about the mechanism of evolution have been proposed, some of them such as Lamarck's theory of inheritance of acquired characters and De Vries' theory of mutation are now of historical importance only. Darwin's theory of natural selection still holds ground but was modified with progress in genetics and developed into the modern synthetic theory which is regarded as the most valid theory of evolution. Darwin's theory of natural selection An English scientist, Charles Darwin, 1809-1882, explained the mechanism of Evolution through his theory of natural selection. He is still regarded as the father of evolution because of two very significant contributions. He suggested, I, that all kind of organisms are related through ancestry and, two, he suggested a mechanism for evolution and named it natural selection. According to Darwin, organisms produce more offspring than can survive. Because environmental resources are limited there ensues struggle for existence. Organisms with advantageous variations are protected and allowed to reproduce while the disadvantageous variants are eliminated from nature. This is what was termed natural selection by Darwin. According to Darwin when the environment changes, new adaptations get selected. In nature and after many generations sufficient characteristics will have been changed. So as to alter the species into a new one, origin of species. Darwin talked about variation but did not know about the sources of variation. With progress in genetics the sources of variation were discovered and Darwin's original theory of natural selection modified. This new theory was termed Neo-Darwinism or modern synthetic theory. According to this theory, a the unit of evolution is population which has its own gene pool. Gene pool is the group of all different genes of a population. B. Heritable genetic changes appear in the individuals of a population. These heritable changes or variations occur due to small mutations in the genes or in the chromosomes and their recombinations. C. Natural selection selects the variations which helps in adapting to the environment. 
be a change in the genetic constitution of a population selected by natural selection is responsible for evolution of a new species, since through interaction of variation and natural selection more offsprings with favorable genetic change are born. This is called differential reproduction. A once evolved, reproductive isolation helps in keeping species distinct. Origin and evolution of life and introduction to classification. 1.4 Elemental Forces of Organic Evolution Evolution is caused by action of forces on natural selection of variation. Reproductive isolation keeps the species distinct therefore the elemental forces of organic evolution are I, variation, 2, natural selection, 3, isolation. I, sources of organic variation. Variation arises in an individual member of a population, and if favorable, spreads into the population through differential reproduction by the action of natural selection. Variations may occur by a mutation, which is a sudden genetic change. It may be a change in a single gene, genic mutation or point mutation, or may affect many genes, chromosomal. Mutation. B. Genetic recombination, which occurs in sexually reproducing organisms at every reproduction. The chromosomes and thus genes of the parents mix at random during zygote formation. That is why offspring of same parents are different from each other as they have different combinations of parental genes. Variation is also Brought about when crossing over occurs during gamete formation. C. A gene flow is when there is chance mixing of genes of closely related species. Through sexual reproduction. D. Genetic drift occurs in small populations when a part breaks off from a large population. Only representative genes of the large population are present which undergo change at a right time and the small population may evolve into a new Subspecies or species. 2. Natural selection. Natural selection considered to be responsible for differential reproduction of genes which means that more of favorable genes get reproduced in a population. Many examples of natural selection in action are available now. Given below are 3 such examples. Example 1. DDT resistant mosquitoes. About 50 years back, the mosquito population had been kept in control with the help of DDT. Thereafter, it was found that mosquitoes could not be killed with DDT any longer. There appeared DDT-resistant mosquitoes. What had happened was that a gene mutation, variation, had conferred, given, on the mosquito, the ability to resist the effect of DDT. While DDT killed other mosquitoes, those with the gene mutation survived and slowly within a few generations DDT-resistant mosquitoes replaced the DDT-sensitive ones. In other words, the DDT-resistant mosquitoes reproduced differentially by the action of natural selection. Example 2. Metal tolerance in grasses. Certain metal residues sometimes collect in the soil near some industries using heavy metals. Being poisonous they kill the grasses. However, resistant grasses are found to evolve after some time through the action of genetic variation and natural selection. From the above example, can you explain the evolution of the heavy metal tolerant grasses? Example 3. Industrial Melanism A commonly quoted example of natural selection in action is that of the peppered moth, Biston bichularia. The moth with its light-colored wings dotted with spots blended well with the lichens growing on the houses and trees on which it rested. Once in a while if a mutated form of the moth which was black in color appeared, it was eaten up by birds as it was conspicuous because of its black wings. This was 
observed in the British Isles before the Industrial Revolution. After the Industrial Revolution, the genes for black wings proved favorable on the soot-covered lichens. Growing on the walls of houses, natural selection acted through the agency of the birds which now ate up the conspicuous light-colored winged peppered moth. These were therefore soon replaced by the black variety. There are several such examples in which human activities have changed the environment and natural selection has been observed to play its role. But it is an established fact now that all of biodiversity over these millions of years have also evolved through the interaction of variation and natural selection. 3. Role of Reproductive Isolation Once new species arise from the parental species due to the effect of variation and natural selection, reproductive barriers prevent the two species from exchanging genes through reproduction. Thus two related species cannot mate with each other and remain distinct. Isolation Mean separation and reproductive isolation simply means that the two species are prevented from successful reproduction and kept genetically distinct from each other. Reproductive isolation operates in the following ways. Ecological isolation, the two species are unable to mate as they live in geographically different areas. Seasonal isolation, mating is prevented because the reproductive organs mature at different times. Ethological, behavioral, the songs in birds of two species or the coloration. Isolation of two fishes are so different that female of one species is able to recognize only the male of its own species. Mechanical isolation, the male and female organs for mating differ in different species and prevent their union. Physiological isolation, the sperms of one species are not able to survive in the female tract of another species. Zygotic and developmental, if all the above mechanisms fail and a hybrid zygote. Isolation, zygote for mating of two different species, is formed, it dies after some time. If the hybrid zygote survives it dies during development. Hybrid sterility, mule, the offspring of a female horse and male donkey, is a good example. It leads a normal life but is sterile and cannot reproduce. F2 breakdown, in rare cases, all the above mechanisms fail and eight. Hybrid, offspring of parents belonging to different species, is fertile, it can reproduce only for one generation. 1.5 speciation. The evolution of new species is termed speciation. Speciation occurs in the following ways and is termed accordingly. Allopatric speciation takes place when a part of the population becomes geographically separated, geographical isolation, from the parental population. 4. Example A group of birds' lives at the base of the mountain, some members fly up and get geographically isolated. Variation and natural selection act differently on the two because the environment in which the two live is different. Gradually genetic changes render them to be reproductively isolated. Sympatric speciation. Sometimes a genetic barrier, reproductive barrier, prevents reproduction between a section of a population of a species with other members. Such a section of Population usually arises in plants because of polyploidy. Polyploidy is a mutation in which the normal diploid number of chromosomes become doubled or trebled. 2n becomes 3n, 4n, 5n etc. in a section of the population of a species due to certain irregularities during cell division. The polyploid section of the population is then unable to interbreed mate and reproduce with their diploid ancestors and becomes a new species. Models of speciation 
There are two accepted models of speciation that have given rise to the biodiversity. 1. Philanic gradualism model. Two species from common ancestor gradually become more and more structurally different acquiring adaptations unique to each other. Fig 1.12a. Darwin also believed that evolution is a slow and gradual process. 2. Punctuated equilibrium. A new species arises through major changes in the beginning and then remain constant for long periods before changing again. Fig 1.12b. This model was suggested by paleontologists, scientists who study fossils, Niles Eldridge and Stephen J. Gould. 1.6 Hardy Weinberg Equilibrium. This is a concept related to both genetics and evolution and was proposed by G. H. Hardy and W. Weinberg. A population of sexually reproducing organisms in which genes combine at random. Due to random mating is called panmictic. In other words, a panmictic population is one in which mating partners are not specifically selected. For example, we humans usually do not look for specific blood group when a marriage is arranged so we are panmictic with respect to blood types. The Hardy-Weinberg principle states that in a panmictic population if there is no pressure of mutation, selection, genetic drift etc. then the relative frequency of any pair of genes remains constant, generation after generation. For example, a gene has two alleles, P and Q in the population and no mutation or selection etc. takes place, then the frequency of these two alleles will remain constant generation after generation. This can be mathematically represented as P plus Q, 2 equals 1 or P2 plus 2 PQ plus Q2 equals 1. 1 1.7 Classification A meaning of classification Classification means identifying similarities and differences between different kinds of organisms and then placing similar organisms in one group and different kinds of organisms in different groups. Taxonomy may thus be defined as the science of classification of organisms into categories, maintaining certain rules. Early taxonomists classified organisms according to morphological features only. Once the concept of organic evolution was accepted, taxonomists began to draw evolutionary relationships between different kinds of organisms. This was termed systematics. Today taxonomy and systematics are treated as synonymous, since for classification, both morphological and Biochemical resemblances and even those between molecules such as DNA and RNA are studied to establish evolutionary relationships. B. Taxonomic categories While classifying an organism, it is assigned to categories which show its evolutionary relationship with other groups of organisms. Each level or category is termed taxon, plural taxa. The lowermost category of classification or taxon is species. Other categories are arranged above the species so that there is a hierarchy of categories. The various taxonomic categories are given below. Species, group of individuals of one kind which can interbreed to produce fertile offsprings. Genus. Group of species resembling each other in several features indicating Common ancestry Family, group of genera, singular genus, resembling each other E.g. Thelis Domestica, the cat, and Panthera tigris, the tiger, both belong to The family Felidae Order, includes families showing similar characteristics Class Includes related orders. Phylum includes related classes. See Fig 1.13. The various phyla belong to their respective kingdoms. 
There are five kingdoms, about which you will learn later. Humans belong to the kingdom animally and classification of humans is given as an example to describe the manner in which living organisms are classified. Kingdom, animally. Animals. Phylum, chordata. Animals with notochord slash backbone. Class, mammalia. Animals that suckle their young ones. Order, primates. Mammals with larger brains and binocular vision. Family, hominidae. Humans and human-like ancestors. Genus, homo. Fossilman and Modern man. Species, H. Sapiens. Modern man. 1.8 Scientific naming of organisms. Different plants and animals have different common names. A cat is called Bilian. Hindi, Biral in Bengali, Panala in Tamil, and Manjar in Marathi. There are different words for cat in French or German. Thus, there arose the need to give organisms names which could be understood throughout the world. Therefore, scientific names, which are understood all over the world were given to organisms. A simplified system of naming organisms called binomial nomenclature has been the standard for more than two centuries now. It was proposed by the Swedish biologist, Carolus Linnaeus. 1707-1778 Binomial nomenclature simply means Two name system of naming The name of every category of organism has two parts That of the genus followed by that of species The generic name is written with A capital letter and the specific name with a small letter E.g. Homo sapiens is the Scientific name of modern man Manja for indica is the botanical name of mango. Three main features of biological naming are as follows. A. A scientific name, by convention, is printed in italics or underlined when hand written. B. Scientific naming is according to a set of scientific rules of nomenclature. C. Scientific names are mostly in Greek and Latin. They are uniformly understood all over the world and have made communication about organisms easier. 1.9 Prokaryotes and Eukaryotes The organisms that are most primitive or the first to evolve on Earth are the bacteria. They do not possess a nuclear membrane around their single chromosome. Absence of a well-defined nucleus or in other words a primitive nucleus terms them. Prokaryotes, pro equals primitive. Carry on equals nucleus. All bacteria including blue-green algae, cyanobacteria, are prokaryotes. As a contrast, organisms other than bacteria possessing a well-defined nucleus are eukaryotes. EU equals true. Carry on equals nucleus. There are other differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Characteristics Prokaryotes Eukaryotes 1. Size 0.1 to 10 μm 10 to 100 μm, larger volume. 2. Genetic material circular DNA, no linear DNA, histones present on which no histones associated with DNA molecule wrapped. DNA, nucleoid form. No nuclear well-defined linear chromosomes. Membrane with free terminal end nuclear. Membrane present. Three. Side of nuclear DNA in cytoplasm DNA inside distinct nucleus. Material. Four. Organelles no membrane bound mitochondria. Golgi body. Organelles lysosomes present in the cell. 5. Cell wall always present, contains none in animals, 
and made of peptidoglycan cellulose slash chitinin plants and fungi. 6. Respiration by mesosomes by mitochondria. 7. Reproduction mostly asexual, asexual, and sexual. E.g. bacteria and cyanobacteria, e.g. protoctista, fungi, plants. Blue green algae, animals. 1.3.5 The five kingdoms of organisms. Till recently, there were only two kingdoms for classification, planty and animally. Such a two kingdom classification had several drawbacks, e.g., bacteria and fungi were kept along with plants, although they are very different. R.H. Whitaker in 1969 suggested the five kingdom classification, which is based on the following three criteria. I. The presence or absence of a well defined nucleus. 2. Unicellular or multicellular. 3. Mode of nutrition. The five kingdoms are Munera, Protista, or Protoctista, and Fungi, Planty, and Animally. Based on the three criteria mentioned above, Fig 1.13, the five kingdom classification is explained as under Names of nature of whether kinds of Kingdoms nucleus unicells or nutrition. Multicells. 1. Munera prokaryotic unicellular diverse types of blue green algae, except some nutrition and bacteria, cyanobacteria that are filamentous or multicellular and sometimes branched. 2. Protoctista eukaryotic unicellular diverse kinds of some algae and nutrition. Protozoa. 3. Fungi eukaryotic unicellular or saprophytic, feed on dead molds, etc. Multicellular organic matter. 4. Planty eukaryotic multicellular autotrophic, synthesize all green plants, food by photosynthesis. 5. Animally eukaryotic multicellular heterotrophic. Animals depend on other organisms for food. Some three fungi molds, blue green algae ferns, algae four, planty multicellular. One, Munira two, Protoctista algae mosses, bacteria seed plants, protozoa five, animally non chordates and chordates. Viruses, an introduction. Z. You have heard about diseases such as influenza, polio, mumps, rabies, smallpox. AIDS and dengue are caused by viruses. Z. They are non-living and made up of DNA or RNA surrounded by a protein coat. They can replicate. However, they cannot reproduce on their own. They reproduce when inside a living cell. Therefore viruses pose a special classification. Problem. Z. Logically, therefore, they cannot be placed in any of the five kingdoms because they can multiply in their host cells and can mutate like living organisms but can be crystallized exhibiting a non-living feature. Discovery of viruses. In 1892, the Russian botanist Iwanowski prepared an extract from tobacco. Plants suffering from tobacco mosaic disease. The extract was filtered to keep back bacteria in the residue. The filtrate was still infectious. Dutchman. Vigerant gave the term virus in 1898, virus, poison in Latin, to these infective particles. Size. Z viruses are extremely small and can be seen only under the electron microscope. Z they are smaller than the smallest bacteria. Z can pass through fighters which retain bacteria. Z their size is indicated in nanometers, nm. Their size ranges from 10 nanometers to 300 nm in diameter. 
nanometer, mm. It is a unit of microscopic measurement, equal to 10 to 9 m. It was formerly called millimicron. A structure of virus. Virus has a simple structure consisting of a core and a cover. The core particle is the genetic material, either DNA or RNA. The cover is a protein coat called capsid. Virus can reproduce only when inside the living cells. A virus cannot reproduce by itself. For its reproduction it needs to enter the cell of some organism. From the host cell, it uses the raw material and enzymes and energy generating machinery of the host cell to produce its own DNA. A number. The virus particles are thus formed inside the host cell. The host cell bursts to release the new virus particles. Virus living or non-living. The viruses possess nucleic acids as genetic material like the living organisms. They cannot make copies of DNA for reproduction on their own. They can make copies of themselves to reproduce only inside a living cell. And because their genetic material is DNA or RNA, they exhibit mutations followed by variations in their infective properties. Further, they are considered non-living because they are non-cellular. They have no enzymes of their own and they can be crystallized. Infective properties of virus. Viruses are known to attack bacteria, plants, or animals. Viruses which invade. Bacteria are called bacteriophages. Viruses are highly specific in their relationship with the host and tissue. For example, polio virus attacks particular nerves. Mumps virus attacks the particular pair of salivary glands, parotid glands, of humans. Viruses keep on mutating. Mutation means change in genetic material. For example, Influenza virus which has RNA as its genetic material, mutates and so every year flow is caused by a different virus and scientists find it difficult to find a cure for influenza or flu. B. Viruses and diseases. Certain cancers are also known to be caused by viruses. These viruses have RNA as genetic material and are called retroviruses. Viroids. Viroids are circular RNA molecules, consisting of several hundred nucleotides. They infect plants and even kill them. In plants, they use enzymes of the plant cells to replicate like the viruses do. When they infect plants, these RNA molecules cause defects in the regulatory systems controlling plant growth. Hence viroid infected. Plants show stunted growth and abnormal development. What you have learned. Z. The most accepted theory about origin of life is the chemosynthetic theory. Z. Earth's early environment was favorable for the formation of organic molecules. From simple inorganic materials. Z. Coacervates are believed to have been membrane, bound molecular aggregates. Capable of growth and budding. Z. It is believed that life originated some 3.5 billion years ago on this earth. Z. The environment and the forms of life of the past were quite different from those of today. Z. Evolution is the gradual unfolding of living forms from the earlier simpler forms into the complex ones. It was in operation in the past, it is operating at present, and will continue do so in the future. Z chief evidences in favor of organic evolution come from comparative anatomy, embryology, paleontology, and molecular biology. Z Darwin's theory of origin of species by natural selection explains the process of evolution through useful variation and natural selection.
Xenodarwinism is the modern interpretation of Darwinism based on natural selection, mutation, and reproductive isolation. This is also called the modern synthetic theory. Z sources of variation are mutation, recombination, gene flow, and genetic drift. Z natural selection acts upon variation through differential reproduction which means greater reproduction of favorable genes. Z isolation helps in formation of new species and also in keeping species distinct. Z the reproductive isolating mechanisms are ethological isolation, seasonal, ethological, mechanical, and physiological isolation, zygote inviability, hybrid, sterility, and ed2 breakdown. Z evolution of new species is termed speciation. Z speciation occurs through a geographical isolation or b polyploidy. Z gradualism and punctuated equilibrium are suggested modes of speciation. Z Hardy Weinberg equilibrium relates to genetic variation during evolution. According to this theory, in a panmictic population, frequency of two alleles remain same for generations in the absence of mutation and natural selection. Z classification is essential for studying organisms and communicating about them. Classification means grouping on the basis of similarities and differences. Z there are hierarchical taxonomic categories which reveal evolutionary relationships of an organism. Z the scientific naming of organisms is according to the Linnean system of binomial nomenclature. Z. The five kingdoms of life are Munira, Protoctista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animali. Z. Viruses are nucleoprotein particles which have DNA or RNA molecules present as core particles, surrounded by a protein coat. Z. Viruses were discovered by Ivanowski and named by Bigerant. Z. Viruses are very small and can be observed only through electron microscope. Z viruses cannot reproduce except when inside living cells. Z viruses share properties of living and non-living. Z viruses infect bacteria, plants, and animals. Z viruses attacking bacterium are called bacteriophages. Z viruses cause several human diseases like herpes, smallpox, AIDS, dengue, and influenza. Z-viroids are RNA particles that attack plants.